Hey, look who's back. I'm bearing gifts. Figured I would stop by and give you this emergency cure. It should help with your headaches for a little while. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. The headaches have been uh, excruciating at times. I could barely think. Glad to help. So, last time we spoke, you both were tracking down a crew city. What did you find? Oh! Oh! oh. It's good that you checked at least. But we already had one miracle when Sophia survived. More would be pushing you. There was almost nothing in the wreckage. They had no chance. I just... Why weren't they in the main emergency capsule with me? They would have been safe in there. Maybe that's true. It's all in the past, though. Focus on things you can actually change. For example, those robots. Have you found any more? Interesting. That's a rather old USSA model. Not many were ever made. The robot signature was a partial match for some other signals in the area, so I thought we might investigate those. It seems linked. Seems like a waste of time to me. You have your answers. Nowak, Lee, Bernard. They're all dead. Long dead. You're not. Move on. Live in your life. Build onto this Appalachian uh, home with your good Samaritan friend here. My love. Not really. But uh, back trace the program signal that you picked up. Sophia can figure it out from there. Thanks for the emergence kit, Emerson. Come back later, okay? I'm tracking down some more of them with my contacts, so I'll be back later. Stay out of trouble, please. I'm glad we've been able to spend so much time together. I'm glad to have another emergence kit, but I'm annoyed that Emerson doesn't think anything is worth investigating, you know? Speaking of which, when you approached that robot, I detected a frequency disruption. Maybe it was sending a signal, but to whom? The signal is tagged with a code that indicates it is a high-security holotape related oh! to the Deep Sleep mission. <sighs> Emerson's emergence kit helped a bit. But headaches are very persistent. You can almost keep time with the spikes of pain. I mean, who would care now, right? Listen to it if you want. I can't guarantee it'll be interesting. I'm not sure what it is exactly. But if you are a communist or a sympathizer, then it might trigger some sort of explosion or brainwave obstruction thing. I can't remember. They just used to tell us that to scare us, I think. I never tested it out, though. It's got to be something significant. This could give me some closure here, finally. Then, I can move on, like Emerson suggested. Truthfully, it was a blur. We were sent up as a team, and... We were in our deep sleep pods in under an hour after achieving a stable orbit. But that single hour? <laughs> it was exhilarating. Call me Sophia. Please. After what we've been through. After all, I'm in your... ship now. That makes you the commander here. Sort of. Right before you killed it, the robot sent out some signals to specific targets. I think it pinged my console, too. It was hard to tell if anything changed, though. My headache was back in full force, so I had to lie down. 
I could barely see. I expect that another USSA robot will be activated and sent after us soon, so maybe we can try again. Roger. Stay safe out there. Oh, I hope this emergence kit can work so much. 